previously on Lies on Demand. Oh my God, it's a list of everything I wanted to accomplish by the year 2020. Be best friends with Rachel Lee Cook. So I officially haven't accomplished anything. I'm giving up sugar for New Year's. Do we have a jar of frosting? Ooh, donuts, that'll work. Shane just posted that he's going to the party. Look. Tough love time. You're getting ghosted. And now I'm dateless on New Year's Eve. If I don't find someone to kiss, it will literally plunge my year into darkness. <sighs> Is that contagious? I, I don't know. <sighs> uh, Liza. Where's your car? Where the hell is my car? It was right here. Oh my God, drunk guy. He must have woken up and driven my car home. Oh jeez. I wonder what that's gonna do to my rating. You worried about how the drunk guy who stole your car is going to rate you? You think he stole it? No, I think he went and got it detailed, Liza. It's okay. All right, we'll just go inside and call the police and they'll help us find my car. But it can't be that busy on New Year's Eve, right? You've already wasted half our night. I mean, what's the point of paying $250 for a party if we're not even gonna get there before midnight? I need to get my kiss! I'm probably gonna die in an explosion tonight. If I'm gonna die, I wanna be next to an ice sculpture and a gyrating go-go boy in a Speedo. I'll figure this out. You'll still make it. Yeah, I know we will. You called another car? The second that we saw your car was gone. Come on, Oliver. You can't just leave. And you don't even know him. You could be shady. At least he still has his car. That's a major improvement from our last driver. Hey, Miami backup girl. And hey, that was really great in there. It really brought me back. Thank you. Hey, what's going on here? You, uh, are you leaving, or is this an I might puke in the street kind of moment? Because that's cool, but these are open toes, so. No, I'm not drunk. I'm an Uber driver. I picked up a drunk guy, and he passed out in the back. So I left him out here while I went inside, and now my car's gone. Well, that was your first mistake right there. Now, this passenger, tell me more about him. What was he wearing? What was he drinking? Was he right or left-handed? Think about which hand his phone was in. I don't see how that's important. It's important if you want me to help you find your missing car, Miami. It's Liza. Liza, have you forgotten that I spent six years as the star of CSI Des Moines? All I do is figure out the impossible. That trash can's covered in ejaculate. Don't touch anything. This room is covered in ejaculate. That birthday cake is covered in ejaculate. Oh, she's right. Anyway, Miami, if that person was an Uber passenger, there would be a record of their phone number in the system. Oh my God, you're right. I can't believe I didn't think of that. I do have seven Golden Globes. You think I'll answer? I mean, he did steal a car, so. Hello? No, who is it? It's, it's your Uber driver. Oh, you really shouldn't be talking. The driver It's in a code of conduct. Um, not driving. But the car's moving, it's... To... Oh my, oh my God! I've been killed by a ghost or an invisible person. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but this car is too shitty to be self-driving itself. Help me! Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm about to boot in the car. No, 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 do not boot in my car. Do not boot in my car. Kidnapped? I know where he's headed. Just from that? How? Do you have a permit in your car, Miami? Let's not rule out ghost kidnapper as a suspect. DJ Duke about to heat this place up! All right, it's time to strut into this VIP room and show Shane just how fine I'm doing without him. Now this is my target demo. Gotta hit the ladies before I mingle. Good luck. You too. Mm -mm. Why, yes, I would love a drink. Oh, <laughs> a model, no, no, no. Kiss me at midnight? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Hottest woman at this party. I mean, you can't just say that. Yeah. <clears throat> nice dress. Thanks. Got it at this little shop off Melrose. The sales guy said I was the only one who could really pull it off. <laughs> now what? It's almost midnight, you rashy, useless loser. Excuse me, where do you get those wristbands? Oh, you have to download the party app first and then buy them through there. But they sold out weeks ago. Weeks ago? So that means Shane knew he was gonna ghost me for weeks? That's some real bullshit. I know, right? The IP rooms are such elitist bullshit. The only people that buy in in them are insecure assholes who just want to pretend like they're better than everybody else. You couldn't get in either, huh? 
maybe. <laughs> or maybe I'm standing outside the door in protest. A one-man VIP picket line. Or one could argue that the only way to make lasting change is from the inside. Ooh, subversive. What do you have in mind? I'm gonna figure out a way to sneak my radical ass in there. Wow, a true revolutionary. You're the Che Guevara of bottle service. <laughs> only I look better in a beret. I'm sure you do. $500? I only have half of that. That's the money for my party ticket. Mm, don't you worry about that. Follow my lead. You just carry that around with you. Detective Latati, UCU, Unusual Crimes Unit. This is my partner, Detective Patel. It's a little on the nose, but OK. Listen, it seems that you towed a piece of shit Volkswagen as part of an ongoing investigation downtown. So we're going to need to go ahead and take that vehicle back. Also, Patel here would really appreciate it if you could go ahead and waive those fees. Would she now? Yes, she would. And she sounds angry. And you do not want to make Patel angry. I said you don't want to make Patel angry. Well, it's too late. I'm angry. Oh, yeah, I am about lots of things. That's why they call me pissed off Patel. I'm angry about a system in which criminals are set free. I'm angry that it's hard to find great shoes that come in my size. I'm angry at all the dudes at the gym who always tell me what to do as if I don't know what I'm doing, even though I do, in fact, not know what I'm doing. Okay, Patel, but do you see what I gotta deal with here? Now, I can either let her off the leash, or you could hand us the keys, let us walk out of here. You don't end up in cuffs. What's it gonna be? How do I know you guys are even real cops? How do I know your computer keyboard is covered in ejaculate? <clears throat> I got the keys. How did you... It's a gift and a curse. Twenty twenty, meet drawstring dance me. You uh need any of that heated up? <laughs> I'm good. Hey yo, why are you sad, girl? I'm not sad. And even if I was, I wouldn't spill my feelings to a kitchen appliance. Well, what about to your one-time boo? Oh my god! <laughs> Luke? <laughs> You're DJ Nuke? In the flizz ass. <laughs> Plus, I run this sick party catering company, so two for one and twice the fun. <laughs> How you like them tiny cheese balls, girl? I'm so happy for you. Good for you. Ah, uh, you know, and woo, epic dress. You are the only woman who can pull that thing off, if, 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 if you don't mind my saying. <laughs> I just threw this on. Well, you look good, but you know, you always look good, so. So you, uh, you, here with a date, or, uh... Oh, no one special. So, Luke, um, where are you gonna be at midnight? Where you want me to be at midnight? <coughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, girl, you just, you just readjusted all my settings. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I tell you what, when the countdown starts, just slide up to where I'm spinning, and I will hit you with the waviest New Year's kiss. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I you know, know what you're talking about. about. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna see you then. Midnight. I'll catch you. All right. I'll see you. Woo! <laughs> that went unexpectedly well. Why don't you just pretend to be someone famous? There's no way they're gonna check and see if you're wearing a wristband, and you could totally pass for a celebrity. Really? Shane, this guy I used to see, told me I needed to lose 10 or 15 pounds. Okay, first of all, that's the rudest thing anyone can say to someone they're dating. And then second, that guy's crazy. I think you look amazing. Thanks. Who can we say that you are? It's gotta be someone everybody's heard of, but nobody knows what they actually look like. I'm the seventh member of BTS. I feel like they already have seven members. Really? Mm -hmm. How does that work? They split the money seven ways? Somebody's going solo soon. Okay, so no K-pop. Okay. How about world-famous music producer Mike Will Made It? Huh, I can't picture him. Can you? Nope. Until now. It's you. Me? Yeah, grab these, let's go. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much for rescuing me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, also, sorry about booting in in the back seat. Uh, here we go. Take this. This is for uh, cleaning. That's four hundred dollars. Oh no, 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 that's not it. That's it. That's it. Happy New Year. 
Happy New Year. All right. <laughs> All right. Happy, Happy New Year, everybody. Oh, 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 hold up. Nobody gets in the VIP room without a wristband. I'm sorry, do you not know who that is? That's Mike Will Made It, the world famous music producer. Mike Will Made It. Look, you don't want to embarrass yourself by being the bouncer that didn't let Mike Will Made It make it into the VIP room. So if you do that, you'll be the laughing stock at Bouncer Con. Oh, I, I loved your collab with Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Will Made It. <laughs> Mike Will Made It never worked with Taylor Swift. Mike Will didn't make it? Move along. Come now, on. How dare you know that? <laughs> well, you certainly have enough for your party ticket now. I know that must be pretty dumb to you. I made this list when I was nine, you know? Stuff that I was gonna do in my life. But I haven't done any of it. Not even close. But now I can cross something off. Two things, actually. Does one of those things hang out with Rachel Lee Cook? No. Just be BFFs, Rachel Lee Cook. You'd be surprised how often I get that. Really? Can I tell you, like, a friend secret? Are we friends? We're totally, yeah, we're friends. No, spill the tea, bitch. Sorry. Sorry, that was too soon. I have something of a list of my own. Actually, it's just one thing I was kind of hoping to accomplish tonight, even. But it's sort of a, it's a two-person job. And it's probably too late. If it's singing into hairbrushes to Ace of Base, it's not too late. It's not. Whatever it is. Uh, you help me find my car and get my money, I'm in. Are you sure? I mean, we would be done in time to get you to your party. Let's do it. I am psyched. <laughs> You know, eating chocolate's not supposed to be painful. I'm trying to binge as much sugar as I can because I'm quitting after the new year. It's my resolution. Sugar-free in 2020. Oh, it's catchy. And I respect your resolve, but from where I sit, you don't have to change a dang thing. Well, Shane said that if I need Okay, it. let's forget about Shane. Can I be honest? Yeah. That's why I wanted to get into VIP, because he's in there. And I want to get in there and show him that I am doing fine without him. You think I'm petty? I think New Year's Eve is about leaving the past behind and being open to a better future. <gasps> oh, oh my God, oh. I'm so sorry. Why? Oh my oh. God. Oh my Look. God. Look. Do you think I can switch spots? I feel like I can get a better gravity. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Hey, come on, let's get you out of here. Oh, come on. Hi, hi. I couldn't help but notice that you guys are leaving, but do you think I can have your wristbands? Sorry, this might be a puke and rally situation. Oh, okay. well, that's fine. Whatever. I don't need to get into VIP. I'm doing fine, just... Where'd he go? Prince Jr.? Yeah, something like that. You see, back when we were shooting She's All That, Freddy thought that it would be funny to prank me, so he put plastic wrap over the toilet seat in my trailer. For the rest of filming, everyone on set referred to me as Rachel Lee Poop. 
Which isn't a funny nickname. So as you can imagine, getting back at him has been very high on my list. And tonight, tonight is the night. And I think that with the help of my new friend, Miami, that I am finally ready. Oh, yeah, actually. It's a good thing we stopped for that double latte because it really got things going. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm ready. And if I don't get out of this car, I'm gonna wreck my dress and maybe your seat, which as I'm sure you already know, is covered in ejaculate. I'm so glad that we're doing this together. What, what, what exactly are we doing? We're taking a dump on Freddy's car. <laughs> Actually, it looks like there's two cars, so you know what? Uh, I'm gonna take the gray. You hit the silver. Wait, is it one of them Sarah Michelle's? I'm not taking any chances. Come on, let's Scooby do this. Liza, come on. I. What are you they all go away? I'm gonna be part of this shit. Put a tennis. We were all gonna meet up in the VIP room for the countdown, but then I lost my wristband because I don't like it too tight because then it makes my wrist look fat, but it must have fallen off and I can't find it. And now I'm not gonna be able to go to the VIP room for the countdown. I'm gonna miss everything. Also, I took a mint from the bathroom attendant, but I don't have any cash. So now she's gonna think I'm like an asshole. No one thinks you're an asshole. Well, these mints don't pay for themselves. I got cash. Listen, it's just a countdown, right? Just 10 seconds of your life. You just said you were having the best time. Don't let one tiny moment ruin your whole night. Or your whole year. I guess it sounds really obvious when someone else says it. Or just even out loud yourself. You're right. Midnight happens every night, and New Year's is just one of those things that somebody made up. I mean, why not celebrate on September 1st? <laughs> okay, you're not helping. Sorry, I have no use for my history. I also feel like I'm hella extra tonight because this dress is driving me crazy. It is so itchy. Oh my god. It's the dress. It's not my cousin's curse. It's just this stupid dress. What? Bounted. The bouncer said you don't need a wristband to get into VIP because you're super hot. <gasps> really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, you look super hot in that dress. We both look super hot. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Hi. Hi. Uh, one ticket, please. Two fifty. Wow. $250 is a lot of money for a party. Are you gonna go in? Well, I was gonna go in and meet up with some friends, but they're kind of off doing their own thing anyways. Although my nine-year-old self would really want me to go inside. Oh my God, look, I don't have time to get into some deep revelation here. I have a line. But you're right. Going to this party just to live out some childish idea of fun is a terrible idea. It's definitely not $250. And you did it anyway. All right, look, you're here. It's nearly midnight. Can you think of anything better to blow your money on? Yeah. Next. How you doing? Oh, hey. You're still here. Yeah, I just had to come back for something. Uh, there's a guy in the kitchen with a case of champagne. Do you want me to tell him to leave it there? Or? Uh, I should get that. It's almost midnight. Thanks. Yeah. Happy New Year, Robin. Say hi to your mom for me. <clears throat> Going swapping. Hard pass. It's like a bowl full of genitals. Oh, Oliver, what are you doing here? Oh, I'll tell you what I'm doing here, Shane. I'm doing just great. I'm here at this party, and I'm in the VIP room, and I'm just great. Oh, are you sure you need that cookie, sweetie? Oh, you cannot shame me anymore, Shane. I'll have no more of your Shane, Shane, Shane. I'll have you know, there's a guy out there who thinks I am perfect just the way that I am. And I just let him walk away. You know what, Shane? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I 
didn't know you know Mike Will made it. Oh. Ten seconds to midnight. Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight. Marco, wait. kissed you right now, it would only be because I felt obligated to kiss someone at midnight, not because I actually wanted to. I'm okay with that. I thought that not having someone to kiss was gonna ruin my night, but kissing the wrong guy for the wrong reasons would just be way worse. Good night, Luke. Happy New Year. That means it must be midnight. Yeah, thanks. I gotta watch. Listen, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Whew, those last few cookies. Listen, I spent tonight trying to impress some jerk who didn't care about me at all. Meanwhile, I almost missed out on the great guy who was right in front of me. You were right. New Year's should be about letting go of the past and embracing the <laughs> Oh my god, I am so so oh, oh my god! The sugar! I, I had so much sugar! Oh, happy New Year! No. It it's not. Go. Oh, like it's not already covered in puke back here, just drive. That was the explosion Psychic Rhonda was talking about. There were casualties. I really gotta write her a good Yelp review. Oh, God. Crowds are gathering around the globe to ring in 2020, celebrate the New Year. Am I too late for Hawaii New Year's? Hey, you're home early. How uh, was the party? Eh, it was fine, I guess. But it was kind of like any other night, right? I mean, I could kiss someone tomorrow and still have a great year. Mm. Or not kiss anyone at all. How my year goes is really up to me. Is that personal growth I hear? Because I did a little bit of my own tonight, thank you very much. From now on, no man gets to treat me like an option. Because I'm a choice. Also, I won't be eating sugar until at least 2030. Ugh. You know what? <clears throat> I think nine-year-old Liza would really dig this New Year's. Oh, I wish she would. I'm sorry I got mad at you. I'm sorry, too. No party is worth more than our friendship. Nothing is more important than our friendship. I'll <laughs> drink to that. Oh. You want to explain that? It's too long of a story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah! Friendship! <laughs> oh. oh. You know this sofa's covered in ejaculate. I'm angry about shoes that don't come with him. <laughs> Don't touch anything. I'm sorry, my voice came out. <laughs> Can I tell you? Okay. I didn't know you know Mike. I'm Mike. Will made it. Who? Oh, I didn't go for the thing. Shit. I'm not taking any chances. Oh, I didn't have this on. Oh God. <laughs> This is okay, going great. Here, <laughs> we got this right here. here <clears throat> and embracing the. <laughs> <laughs> so, two for one for the price of fun. Oh. Two for twice the fun. What happens is you add the fun by, if you divide it quickly, the math is complicated. <laughs>